Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on Nautilus, a new series uh, by Amazon based on the works of Jules Verne, 20,000 Leagues in the sea, Under the Sea, Captain Nemo, and the Nautilus. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Heart in South Jersey. It's the Pineys books 1 through 15. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. Um, so, book 16 dropping this month. This um, series of books by Jules Verne is pretty fantastical. And uh, uh, he is not race swapped, just so you know. The Captain Nemo of the Jules Verne era in the second book is revealed to be from India. So, um, you know, it, it, in uh, 20,000 Leagues of the Sea in some of the earlier movies, he was portrayed uh, usually uh, with uh, by a white English actor. actor. Uh, but, uh, no, this is, this is more correct. This is more correct for Jules Verne, just so you know. I believe uh, Alan Moore had him uh, correct in his comic adaptation. Uh, Nemo was in the uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Um, however, and he's very anti-imperial, right? He's very anti-imperial uh, Britain because at the time when the book was written, uh, the British Empire ruled over India and uh, ruled over a bunch of places and the empire was uh, starting to creak and come apart at the seams to a large extent. So this sort of reflects the times in some ways. Uh, and so it's kind of perfect for woke Hollywood to adapt this the way it basically should have been adapted. Now, is it woke? No, I think it's a, I think it's a, um, project for its time. Okay. Now that being said, it's possible that the, the woke, uh, talent, in uh, Amazon has taken that baton and run with it and run right into the arms of, oh, see, uh, capitalism's bad. Uh, but we'll see. But it's definitely an anti-imperialist sort of message in the movie. You know, um, the Brits, the Empire had sort of taken over everything and uh, the, what is it, the Royal, oh gosh, that company, the Royal something something that ran the company, it ran a lot of the, 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 the stuff going on in the British Empire. It was everywhere. Uh, so he was sort of bucking the system, uh, if you were. Uh, he was sort of a pirate. Uh, and that could be a lot of fun. So the, the show could be a lot of fun. There's pirate treasure. There's giant sea creatures. Uh, isn't there... I want to say there's dinosaurs in one story, but... You know, it's Jules Verne. It was more fantastical. I don't know if it could sustain a TV series. There's only three books. They weren't, I don't know, they're good, but they weren't like, they didn't lend themselves off to more adventures, but maybe the problem with it would the audience relate to the time period, and that's kind of the problem. You know, it looks a little too dimensional in the show, so... In order for this to work sort of long term, I think you would l have to lay out the the actual history at that time and, uh, you know, give us more details of why the British Empire uh, is too big, too corrupt. And uh, so we can identify more with Nemo and his crew. Uh, there's a little girl bossing going on in this trailer where a female character from the book is like, Oh, you're here to save me? I do well. I don't need to be saved. But, you know, that kind of line might have been in there. Um, could probably tolerate it if it doesn't go too hard in the feminist angle. But for the most part, it seems fine. It seems fine. I mean, it's on Amazon. Either you have Prime or you don't. So if you like Jules Verne, I mean, it might be a good adaption. Amazon doesn't have a great record with adaption. I mean, pretty much the only ones 
I think have been good are Reacher, which first season was amazing. Second season was like, meh. Then you got the Terminal List. That, again, first season, friggin' awesome. They're doing a prequel now. I'm not sure how that's going to work. But then you got Rings of Power. Rings of Power is like, oof. So this kind of leans more into a Rings of Power situation. You've got fantastical creatures and settings, and you have a book that's already been well-established. Will they follow the lore? I don't know. But in their defense, Rings of Power doesn't have the books. They only have the indexes. So it's kind of like... They had to fill in a lot of the gaps. And here, they wouldn't necessarily have to fill in the gaps. They could fall back on the book, at least for a couple of seasons, at least until they run out of material. So, maybe. I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. But again, if you got Prime, and you like Jules Verne, eh, maybe you want to check it out. Anyhow, that's it for me, Tony D. And Little Joan, check us out on the green site, the orange site, and the black site. Once again, sadly, I will not be at the Manchester Library tonight. The last minute we had to reschedule. Uh, I won't get into the reasons. It's uh, a little too complicated. A lot of stuff going on. Uh, <laughs> tomorrow, I will be at the night market in Bridgeton, New Jersey. Uh, and I will be doing my talk on how to hunt the Jersey Devil. That's from 7 to 11 at night. So come on down to the Bridgeton night market and see that this weekend I'll be at the Scary Book Fest in Flemington, New Jersey from 11 to 5. And then I will be at I Heart Horror Trunk or Treat at night from 6 to 9. Which means the live stream is going to have to be at noon on Sunday. So remember that. I know, I know, there's a lot of things. The schedule's all crazy. Uh, things are happening. It's a, it's a busy month. Anyhow, thanks for tuning in today. We'll see you.